look at our daily life in today's global capitalism. All the time you have to be active, intervene, participate in something and so on and so on. But in order to properly act, to change things, you have to step back a little bit, to acquire a minimal distance. This, we cannot do it. Being hyperactive is a way to make it sure that nothing will really change. You know who knew this clearly? George Orwell. He wrote already back in 1937 that progressive radical leftists talk all the time about how necessary it is to change society, but he said they talk all the time about it, but with the secret wish that nothing will really change. This is also why I think many public intellectuals today like to spread total pessimism, like we are already five minutes past 12, we are doomed. It means I'm in a comfortable position of knowing that everything points towards a catastrophe. I don't have to act, to do anything. In a psychoanalysis, we uh, we call this cynical reason, or in technical terms, fetishism. We know what the situation is, but instead of making us act, talking is here as an excuse not to do anything. If some of people viewing this show are in any way involved in art, art exhibitions, art biennales, they know what I'm talking about. If there is a form of art which is fully integrated into capitalist circulation are these big art biennales. Venice, Kassel and so on. And their ideology is strictly radically leftist. You have endless debates about how to fight global capitalism, how we are all manipulated by big capital, but they fit perfectly the global capital. The formula of cynical reason was proposed half a century ago by German philosopher Peter Sloterdijk, who said, people know what they are doing, horrors, dangers about what they are doing, but they are nonetheless doing it. There is a film, which is not a great film, but nonetheless, it demonstrates this aspect of our predicament uh, perfectly. It is Adam McKay's Don't Look Up, about, you know, a comet approaching the Earth, threatening to destroy all life on the Earth. And the target of the film are not some kind of Donald Trump-like populists, but precisely the democratic establishment and protesters who warn, we are all in danger, look up, and they just make the spectacle out of the danger, but uh, they don't do anything really. Life goes on as normal, and this is, I think, our, again, this is our problem today, that knowledge is not enough, what we need is truth. Truth is not simply knowledge. Truth is knowledge which subjectively engages you. And today we know everything, but we don't really subjectively assume this knowledge. That's why I think Today, more than ever, we need to distinguish between knowledge and truth. Again, knowledge is objective knowledge, but it doesn't oblige you to anything. 
uh, we don't need just science telling us how things are. We need knowledge which is engaged knowledge. 